So, that's thank you for the presentation. Um, yes, I'll talk about a real new technology, is uh, hydro storage in a new way. And uh, we set up a company that is the Heimel Energy, home based in Stuttgart, South Germany, to develop that technology and to go into the details uh, of the rock mechanics and all the technical issues we have. Um, and it looks like that we can solve all that problem. Now, um, no, okay. So now you see the basic principle of the system. It is the basic idea that we work with water as a hydraulic medium and that we store the energy in the rock that is lifted. So that means um, what we are doing is we construct this um, cylinder by mining technology. So we cut out that from the rock um, with um, excavation machines and then we can put water beyond that system, pressurized water about 50 bar, that is very similar to the pump system in a pump hydro station. And if we want to release the energy, we can use the same converters as we use in pump hydro system, rotating spinning machines. The interesting thing is about the energy that is within this system. It is proportional to the fourth power of a radius. So, if you double the size, you have 16 times the energy. The construction is mostly cutting out this big chega giant rock. It's about 100 or 200 meters. The cost is reduced if you double that by 1 by r square. So, we can have a cost reduction depending on the size. Now, this is um, the business model of a pump hydro we want to buy cheap energy and we want to sell it at a high price. Now, I want to a little bit to compare this technology with other uh, technologies around. And one question is always, how much space do you need to build that? Because we know today space is uh, a difficult and expensive thing. We have seen this tomorrow. And we will ask for one square meter we have. If you put batteries on there, it's about 10 kilowatt hours if you really add all the necessary streets and um, distances. Maybe it's a, uh, you can put it up to 20, but it's not a big uh, change. If you have pumped hydro, you usually have exactly the same energy or the same space. One square meter gives you 10 kilowatt hours. If you use this rock, due to the density of rock and due to the different way it moves, you have about up to 100 or even 1,000 kilowatt hours per square meter. So it scales perfect if you have not enough space. There is another technology. Oh, that was uh, power to gas. It's just infinite because it's underground. You don't see that. That is, um, yes, no space requirements at all. Another question is how expensive is the storage? And we have to think about two things. The capacity, that batteries is very expensive. The power the European power isn't very high, it's low. If you go to a rubber technology like pumped hydro, the capacity is cheaper, but the uh, power is more expensive. And so you can compare the different types. Pumped hydro is a little bit similar to uh, uh, hydraulic hydro is the same as um, pumped hydro in this price scheme, and so power to gas has a very low capacity price, but a very high power price. Compressed air, a little bit the same. Now, how to make a business? We first have to look at the efficiency, and now we have, I compare four different types, batteries, pumped hydro, and compressed air, and how to guess. Now, we all try to buy at 30 euro per megawatt hour. Um, we have cheap power in the market. And then we have to sell that. Uh, to understand what happens during selling, we have to understand the different <coughs> times when different prices appear in the market. So that the price is below the 30, that's the green area, and the blue area is just the prices above that. So the batteries can sell just immediately if the price is lifting because the efficiency is very high, uh, in the range better than 80%. High pump hydro and hydraulic hydro storage, as I said, also can sell. Now, after some time, the compressed air can sell if the price is going really high, 
and if it gets extremely high, even power to gas can set. But you see, the time, it's only a very few hours that you really have prices in that range you can sell. That makes not a business case. We can sell the tips of pump hydro much more often to market. So we can compare now the different impacts like the land use, the environmental impact, and I'm happy that someone uh, told that tomorrow, that environmental impact is a big issue for people. They are asking for that. The <coughs> capital cost and the efficiency. Now, for example, pumped power to gas has no need for land or very few need for land, has a low environmental impact, very perfect capital cost, maybe reasonable, but the efficiency is a disaster, so we have to invest it with it. Um, compressed air, the same as the gas power to gas. The business model is a little bit better because the efficiencies are higher. Batteries are difficult. In the case of environment, you need a lot of metals and where to buy all them. Pump hydro? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I see that, yeah. Um, so, um, pumped hydro is good. Still, need for land and hydraulic hydro is just perfect. You have everything in the right area. We are doing now the research. We do all the simulations in the computer, and we hope we can do it. Thank you for your attention.